ஹலோ பீப்புள் ஐ எம் விக்னேஷ் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் க்ளவுட் அன்யா அனாலிட்டிக்ஸ் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் டூயிங் குட் ஸோ இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு கிரியேட் அவர் விண்டோஸ் சர்வர் அஜூர் விர்ச்சுவல் மிஷின் அண்ட் ஹவு டு டிப்ளாய் இட் அண்ட் அஜூர் போர்ட்டல் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தி அப்ஜெக்டிவ் அண்ட் ஐ ஹவ் பிரேக் அண்ட் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வீடியோ இன் டு ஃபோர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சப் டாஸ்க் த ஃபஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் we will be logging into our azure portal and then we will be creating that virtual machine instance we will be configuring few things for our windows server uh, virtual machine instance and then finally i will be showing you how to connect to virtual machine for windows user it will be pretty straight forward and for mac users we have to be dependent on another service also to to create our virtual machine to deploy our virtual not deploy to connect to our virtual machine and finally we will stop that virtual machine and delete that also so this is the objective and i hope it is clear and let's uh, let's log in to our azure portal and we will start with uh, our hands on so to do that log in to my azure portal this is my azure portal which i'm doing going to use for this demo purpose and here you can create on virtual machines directly you can click on this virtual machine or you can click on create resource and you can go for virtual machine and in search box also you can type for virtual machine so there's a uh, this is pretty easy and there are different ways to go to or navigate to a particular uh, service so i'll click on this create resource and from here i'll be selecting windows server 2019 data center just click on it and you will be modi- you will be directed towards create virtual machine and this is the subscription and for resource group i'll be using this dbc resource and the virtual machine name is azure windows vm-01 this is my virtual machine name and the region it will be in east us since the resource has been created in east us itself we are going with east us the availability security and image here you can see like 2019 data center and from here you can so you can find all the other different images so there are totally around 4773 images so like there are linux based ubuntu red hat windows server so there are different virtual machines so we are going to create windows server and the architecture vm architecture is x64 and arm64 is not supported for this particular image and the size is like we are going with this standard so there are different sizes also different sizes of virtual machines so there are different series all those things so we are going to go with the normal one itself and the username is so here i have given that username vm windows azure admin and you can so it is mix of alpha numeric uh, as well as caps and special characters also you can paste it there and you can paste it here and the inbound rule is like rdp and the port number is 3389 so we are we don't have any licensing so we are just going to go for the next step so the os this type it is by default it is premium ssd and ssd it is something uh, which is very useful for production as well as uh, performance based so we are going with premium ssd and this the all other things we are going to keep it as normal as a standard one the networking also we are going to use the default networks which is pro, which is in dbc resource in that particular resource group we are going to go with the default thing and the next is management so if you wanted to enable uh, if you wanted to give a particular list group of users and uh, to access to this virtual machine you can go with this login with azure ad or enable system so those things and all you will be able to do it and if you wanted to auto shut down auto shut down if there is after a period of time if there is no activity you can shut down this instance if there is like weekend if you wanted to not to do like uh, if in weekend and all if you don't want this particular server to run you can do those things and all you can do you can configure those things everything from here so shut down time time zone and all those things you will be able to do it this is for daily so the next thing is like monitoring if you wanted to get some alerts for example if that uh, percentage if the cpu utilization percentage is greater than 80% then you should be mon- mon- you should be um, notified by the virtual machine say, saying that this particular virtual machine that cpu utilization is more than 80 percentage or the memory is more than 100 gb or whatever that uh, threshold level which you are configuring so all those things we can be we can configure it here and that estimated for that particular activity it is like 60 percentage so if you want you can do this and boot diagnostic enable the next thing is advanced 
so if you wanted to uh, specify or install any extension to this virtual machine you can click on this and you will be able to see lot of extensions here so you can just click on whatever the extension you want you can uh, add it to this vm instance and the custom data so after creating that virtual machine if you wanted to run a script file in stating that this is the server services which i'm going to use these are the services which we this access group of users will get access and this accesses by default it should be uh, disabled all those things you can you can write those logic in a script file and you can pass it here and uh, the rest everything let it be default and the next thing is tag so the tag is very important uh, service so very important parameter from enterprise level because based on this tags only we will be able to identify between our system and different other users because there will be many systems will be using the same subscription and there will be lot of resources in it no? based on the tag name only we will be able to identify it for example uh, we'll call team and the team name is gcp pd so what are the 13 resources like all the 13 resources are included as part of this thing so if this is our one team no gcp pd they'll be able to identify okay uh, by seeing the tag name we will ident we will we will identify okay this particular instance is used by this particular team so the next thing is review plus create so whatever we configured till now uh, it will be reviewed here and once that validation is successful uh, validation is done we will get a green check like this validation pass then we are we will be able to create that instance so it will totally cost around 9000 rupees and these are the basics like these are the default parameters which we have used for this vm instance so just click on this create so it will take some one or two minutes to create this instance um, i'll pass that video for now and once that instance is created i'll uh, i'll explain you what how to connect to this uh, the resource is ready for us you can click on this go to resource and we are inside this resource here you can see like if you wanted to connect if you wanted to restart if you wanted to stop if you wanted to delete you can do it from here and these are the essentials and these are the properties of virtual machine whatever we see right like all those things like auto shutdown azure spot extensions application all those things you can see it here and monitoring so how our instances of it is there like what is the cpu utilization all those things you can see it from here and capabilities accommodations tutorials so we will go into this connect and we will click on this rdp so before that uh, i just wanted to tell you this for mac users just copy this url copy this url or go to the app store from there you can search for for this particular uh, service so i'll close this yeah this is one microsoft remote desktop so you can download this instance basically it is free you can get this instance uh, get the service and you will be able to launch it from there so close this uh, download rdp file you just click on this rdp file and here you can see the port number is 3389 so just click on it that rdp portal will uh, rdp file will be created just double click on this and then you will be able to do it so for username go to this copy this username and paste it here and for password copy this admin 816 and paste it here so connect to the instance it will be connecting and continue to it and yeah give it some time yeah then we we are now connected to our uh, windows server so we are connected to windows uh, vm instance yes if you see like vm windows as you that was that was our instance name and this is the windows instance which we created for this particular demo so this is how we will be able to create uh, azure uh, azure virtual machine with windows image so basically we have created 2019 so it will take some one or two minutes to set all the things to get adjust to it it will to do all those things now it will take some one or two minutes just give it some time and here you can go and you can do whatever you want it it will be and like the same virtual machine image so just give it one or two minutes and you will be able to do it all those things what is the storage or like we are able to connect it to the default network itself so just click s to it and rest all the other things you can do it here and the next thing is if you wanted to disconnect if you wanted to disconnect uh, don't shut down or don't shut down and uh, don't think that vm like azure will not be charging for you just disconnect from this vm instance just disconnect from this vm instance and go to 
go to your azure virtual machine like that portal name and from here go to this overview and from here just stop it then only azure will not be charging for you uh, when your instance is not in time in when your instance is not running if you this if you think that you disconnected from here if you disconnected from here sorry if you signed out from here no you don't think that uh, virtual machine will not be charged it will be charged for that time also if you don't want to charge just go here disconnect from this and come here and stop that virtual machine instance once the virtual machine instance is stopped then you will be safe like okay our instance uh, azure is not charging for that particular vm instance the next time when you are logging in you can connect to it and you can start working on it by this way you can save lot of uh, money lot of cost and like for creating for making the instance up and down for starting and for can down like uh, stopping it you know, it will hardly take one or two minutes only so you can wait for it and uh, by this time you will be saving lot of dollars and you will be saving lot of money as well so that's it for this video i hope you learned how to create azure virtual machine windows server in uh, mac how to launch it in mac as well and for uh, and for uh, people who are using uh, you are using windows you can directly double click on it and you will be able to log in with that username and password so if you have any questions please post in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do uh, like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning